Hello and welcome to this video about the highly anticipated Canon EOS R8. Canon has been keeping a tight lid on details about this new camera, but rumors and speculations have been circulating for months, leaving photographers and videographers alike excited for its release. In this video, we'll discuss what we know so far about the EOS R8, its potential features, and what it could mean for the future of Canon's mirrorless lineup. So, let's dive in and explore what the EOS R8 might have in store for us. Don't forget to check product link in description. In both design and technology, the Canon R8 has many similarities to the elder EOS R62. Canon has equipped the R8 with a 24.2 MP full-frame CMOS sensor, similar to the Canon EOS R6 Mark II model released at the end of last year. It also uses Canon's latest Digic X image processor. This combination allows the R8 to deliver ISO 100 to 100 and 2400 and is expandable to ISO 200 and 4800. The EOS R8 also boasts a shooting speed of 40 frames per second with an electronic shutter, like the R6 Mark II. The R8 is also equipped with Canon's dual pixel CMOS AF2 technology and is capable of focusing in light as low as minus 6.5 EV. The autofocus AF system has flexible 3 AF areas with AF tracking and eye tracking available in all shooting modes. What's more, Canon has added horses, airplanes, and trains to its list of fast focus subjects. In terms of video recording, the R8 can record 4K video at 60 frames per second, footage for possible higher quality. You can also record videos in full HD at up to 180 frames per second. The device is equipped with focus bracketing, but more notably, the EOS R8 is only equipped with anti-shake for video recording, not IBIS for still photography. Just like the R6 Mark II, the Canon R8 also features 3 and 5 second pre-record along with false color and C-Log3 for greater dynamic range. In addition, the camera is also fully equipped with ports for an external microphone, remote control, and HDMI cable. At first glance, the design of the Canon R8 appears very similar to the R6 II in both size and aesthetics. This is not surprising, as both cameras belong to the EOS R line and are expected to have similar design elements. However, there are still some slight differences between them. Unlike the EOS R6 II, which features a joystick for easier operations, the R8 has removed the joystick and instead requires users to click on the screen or use the touchscreen as an AF touchpad. However, the R8 remains resistant to dust and water, making it suitable for use in harsh environments. In order to make the Canon EOS R8 more suitable for vloggers, Canon has had to make some sacrifices in terms of features. For example, the R8 only has one SD card slot and does not support battery grips, although it does support the EOS RP small grip extender. The R8 also features five connection ports, including micro HDMI, USB-C, headphone and microphone sockets, and a wired remote control port. Like other mirrorless cameras, the R8's USB port is standard 3.2 Gen 2, 10-bit slash S. One potential annoyance is the placement of the memory card slot at the bottom of the camera. If you frequently use accessories like a tripod or gimbal, you will need to remove all the accessories to insert or change the memory card, which can be time-consuming. The autofocus system of the EOS R8 is almost identical to its sibling, the Canon EOS R6 Mark II when it comes to recognizing a wider range of subjects. This feature builds on top of the Canon EOS 1D X Mark III style system, which tells the camera how you want your subject to move as it approaches the camera. The AF interface is very simple, users only need to choose the size of the focus area they want, and the camera will track that subject to focus on it as they take the shot. Like the Canon R6 II, the R8 can recognize human animals, vehicles, and auto. One of the features not found on the EOS R8 is the AF joystick. Instead, users need to tap or swipe the touchscreen LCD to locate the AF point. However, sometimes the Canon R8 won't recognize how many subjects users want to focus on. The Canon EOS R8 has something quite similar to the Sony Alpha A7C, a mechanical shutter mechanism to end exposure, but without corresponding shutter blades to expose. This inadvertently leads to some impact on photography. The most obvious impact is probably the effect on continuous shooting speed, 
as the Canon R8 can only shoot at 6 frames per second, half of what the EOS R6 II can do at 12 frames per second. In particular, when taking pictures with a high shutter speed, there will be some problems with the quality of the images obtained. Inherited from the Canon EOS R6 II, the R8 is also capable of shooting at 40 frames per second with the electronic shutter and 30 frames per second with raw images. Raw burst mode will give users an option for pre-buffering. This means they'll be able to capture the action about half a second in advance. The raw burst images will be combined into one CR3 raw file that users must extract using Canon software. Alternatively, users can use the raw image conversion system to convert them to JPEG or HEIF right on the camera. Both this mode and the 40 frames per second burst mode on the Canon R8 use the electronic shutter and have a fairly fast shutter speed, about 18 milliseconds. However, the camera may cause image distortion when shooting horizontally at an object moving quickly past the sensor at that time. Canon's target audience for the Canon R8 and Canon EOS R50 are content creators, which is why Canon has transferred most of the high-end Canon EOS R6 video recording capabilities to the Canon EOS R8. The autofocus system for video on the Canon R8 is as full-featured as it is for stills, relying on Canon's dual-pixel CMOS AF. You'll be able to use object detection, eye detection, tracking, and more, allowing you to keep your subjects in check. The Canon EOS R8 can record 4K video, sampled from 6K, full width of the sensor and at 60 frames per second. The camera can also capture footage with 10-bit color depth in C-Log3 or HDRPQ. In addition, the camera also uses the full width of the sensor to record images, so your footage is not cropped. The Canon R8 adds convenience by integrating headphone and microphone jacks, and even a hot shoe that lets you connect a variety of accessories, such as Tascam's XLR adapters that enable 4-channel audio capture. However, the huge minus point is the rotation time and temperature. The Canon R8 only uses the low-capacity LPE17 battery. That means users will only be able to record video at 4K 60p and 1080 120p for about 30 minutes, or full HD 30p for about 2 hours, although there's a chance the card or battery will stop working before that. Machine overheating is one of the main causes of this time limit. If possible, reduce the video quality to 4K 30p to avoid overheating, and the problem of limited recording time seems to be eliminated. All 8-bit video modes shot on the Canon R8 can be recorded to AU3 class SD card at a relatively affordable price point. But if you want to shoot 10-bit C-Log3 or HDRPQ, then you'll need to invest in a more expensive V60 card. The battery used on the R8 is also a big weakness that photographers should consider. The Canon EOS R8 is equipped with the LPE17 battery. This is probably Canon's trade-off to be able to reduce the size, weight, and cost of the Canon R8. However, this directly affects the user experience. Talking a little about the LPE17 battery, this is a relatively small battery of only 7.5 WH, and you will only be able to take a maximum of 150 shots in standard mode and 220 in eco mode for each full charge. If you want to use the Canon R8 for travel, you should equip a few spare batteries to avoid running out of battery while working. Overall, the LPE17 model is not a bad battery if it's fair. In contrast, the LPE17 is used quite a lot on Canon's APS-C cameras and on the EOS RP. However, in the case of using the Canon EOS R8 as a hybrid camera, surely 4K footage with stabilization and enhanced autofocus will eat up this battery in minutes. The release of the Canon EOS R8 was met with confusion and skepticism from fans due to the lack of significant upgrades compared to its newer sibling, the Canon R6 II, which was released late last year. Furthermore, the R8 lacks features such as a mechanical shutter, an AF joystick, and sufficient battery capacity. These specifications were not impressive enough for users to justify the cost. However, the competitive price of the Canon R8 is its saving grace. For the cost of the Canon EOS R6 II, body only, one can purchase a Canon R8 combo with a 24mm to 105mm f/4 zoom lens or an 85mm f/2 macro lens, which is a great value proposition. Perhaps Canon launched the EOS R8 to replace the Canon EOS R7 at a similar price point. However, the R7 still boasts the ability to shoot 15 frames per second with a mechanical shutter, 
and its smaller sensor makes it more versatile for use with a variety of lenses. On the other hand, the R8 is a full-frame camera that excels in low-light conditions, offers better control over depth of field, and enables the use of wide-angle lenses.